So hey everybody, decided to go to the DT today. Needed a couple things, but you know what? I said screw it. I haven't been to this certain Dollar Tree. I would say a good three months. I normally go to a smaller one, a more accessible, worst or lousier parking. Um, but you know what? I thought I'm gonna go further this time and work my way back because I had to go to Pet Club as well. Um, to get the cats their food. I was out of food. Zero. Nothing. Zip zero. So, this is what I got at Dollar Tree. You want to come over here, baby? Come on. Come on. Come on. I also wanted to show you guys super quick. This. This is what I'm talking about, people. It's, it's lightening a little bit, but it is bubblegum pink for my little pink baby. Okay. I know you guys didn't tune in to see a bunch of dog kissing. Okay. Mm, love you, but go, go do something with yourself for a minute, okay? Go do something with yourself. Okay? What? <coughs> My bad. <coughs> are above me. Okay, hold on one second, guys. We will get started. These are... Kamiley's crab. I've showed them before. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do three each, and then these are gonna miraculously disappear. Okay, they're gonna disappear. Say hasta la bye bye, el bonos. Go over here, over here. Okay, here, here's your cookie bone. Who else wants a cookie bone? Come here, Lex. Where's your daughter? Casey, where are you? Casey hasn't been feeling too well because of the steroids that she's on. Um, if your pets have ever been on steroids before, you know you know, you start it with a higher dose and then you need to taper them down or off. So now we're on a half a pill for the next two days and then a half a pill every other day. I cannot wait to get her off this shit because it is nasty. It is, I hate, I hate it so much, so. She's, she's getting, she's better, but she's just not herself. So it makes me sad because it makes me feel like a bad mommy, but you know, anyways, sorry. And I'll have more chatting at the end of the video. So I'm just warning you now, get some water, get some coffee, get some tea, get some nutrition because this might go beyond 20 minutes. We'll see. So first and foremost, I needed a new one of these babies. Um, this is how I feed the outdoor cats. It just works better. Everybody gets their own little section. Um, when my dumpster came in November, and I've said this before, I threw out everything but one pathetic Thanksgiving-themed plastic plate. That's what they eat on. So now they have a new plate. Thank God, because I, you know, if I don't feel like cleaning it, or if I misplace it, I'm pretty screwed. So I got them that. Okay, do you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Uh, no, we don't look up. We look down. Down. Down is a good thing. Casey. No, 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 no. Go play with sister. Go play with sister. And then, see, she thinks everything's for her. That's not your bag, hun. That's not your bag. No. Oh, you know what? You are semi-right. I got, and I normally don't buy these. And I figured for a buck, what the hell? I know there's two in here somewhere. Oh, whatever. So these are the snack and bones. Um, they're the mint, denta mint. I figured they were super, super, super hard. So I got two of them. Um, Kamiley won't touch them. I know she won't. She, she likes the thought of, oh, hey, it's a new bone. Let's try it out. But um, this one over here, gotta make everybody in the, in the video today. This is Noodle, Lexi. Her birthday is actually on Wednesday. She'll be sick. Big mouth over here. Kamiley, no, 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 no. So we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm not stupid enough to start giving out bones right now and then there's war breaking out. So, girls, go, go do something with yourself. Um, I got a bag of sunflower seeds. I thought I would try these instead of the uh, peanuts that they don't have, I'm just going to put out a bowl for the squirrels. 
I'll have an interesting video coming up for you um, whenever I decide to upload it of my two raccoons playing yesterday morning. Seriously, straight up playing, rolling, romping in the weeds and doing looks to be a little nasty stuff, but I wasn't sure. Um, but it's a cute video, so that's going to be coming. Um, primarily the reason I did go to the DT is to get my beloved nose spray. I'm having the worst, worst allergies every other day, and I would like to continue to breathe. And I, I was out. So thank God I found these. Um, sponges. I can always use these, and plus it's the bonus pack. You get three instead of two. What do you want, baby? No, honey. Later. And finally, I remembered to get storage bags. Um, this is just the normal one I get. It's 15 in here. actually found something repurchased that um, doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't irritate my contact lenses. So this is the third one I've bought. So thank God. Because, um, like I said, I'm wearing more and more makeup, but I'm not wearing anything today because I said screw it. Um, I've also been wanting to replace and find some um, eyeliner that's uh, paraben free. So it says waterproof. I really don't care. But I am like on my last ever loving nerve. Excuse me for a second. Who's on the table? Get off of the table, please. Casey. So, um, they're black, and we'll see how these work. But I needed something in the worst way. Um, this, I just, it was in the wrong spot, and I just sort of saw it. It's a safety light, flashlight, light stick, and a flasher. It also has a, ri a wrist strap. Um, I like just to keep this stuff by my bed instead of having to reach for my cell phone that probably is not there and click on the flashlight and all that bullshit. So I just thought, you know what, this would be nice just to have by my bed. Um, oh, here's the other one. I'm not going to hide that over here. Um, and I finally um, found my foam mounting squares that I use for my nails. Didn't even realize they were the Jot brand. So these are bigger. It doesn't matter to me. All I know is I found them and there are 64 squares. So realistically, double that, triple that because I only need, I could probably make one square um, into three strips for my nails that I do in a certain way. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, decided to get a couple of these. Um, it's probably been about three months or so since I've had these and all I'm living on now is water and um, flavored seltzer water so I thought well why not it's caffeine free it's you know tasty I like it and um, there's more coming um, I don't think I needed these but you know, like I said, summer's coming up, so we need to keep our legs. Um, you know, we don't want to be able to braid them. So, got the soft silk or the pure silk. And um, these I've never seen before. There's five blades. Um, but there's three in a pack. So that kind of threw me. I'm like, am I buying five or am I buying three? So, we'll see where that goes. And I've been searching for these. Um, I know Kathy did a review on them. What are you doing now? What What are you doing? Oh, you're looking. Sorry. Um, I think I made it half half of your video. Made it through. because I don't recall the end. I don't recall your um, review. So I'm going to need to go back and watch that. So, But anyway, I did find the nail art stencil stickers. Um, went a little, not crazy, but um, I got this one. And two of these, sorry for the glare, that's better, and one of a zebra. And I may for fun later on, if I have the time, because um, these are going pretty soon. This is the sinful color. It's coming out blue, but it's a beautiful shade of purple. Um, I may just for fun do one, a silver accent nail. I don't know if I have time. I never seem to have enough of 
Now, in the nail community, if you're aware of all these um, holographic powders and glitters and flakies and all these technical terms, I thought, you know what, for the hell of it, for a dollar, I'm going to see if possibly I could make this work on my nail to give it a holographic look. Like I said, you need to be in the nail community. You need to know what I'm talking about because it doesn't really make sense what I'm saying right now. But all these powders and techniques and new things that people are coming up with. So I thought, you know what? It's loose eyeshadow. It's snow white. It is, I know for a fact these are highly pigmented, um, but I just don't know what it's going to do to my nail. If it's going to stay, if it's going to rub off, if once I put a top coat, it's all just going to melt away. So I thought, well, I'll just try it for the hell of it. Then, nail horse back. Instead of, I shouldn't be bringing stuff into the house. I should be purging stuff into the house. But these are such beautiful colors. And they seem to be very opaque. And they're, they supposedly are a gel tech color. So, and they're made by ice. And ice is, just to make sure, I mean, ice is a legit brand. So they, like I said, I tried them out. They seem to be very opaque. That's one of my key things is there's no point in buying a beautiful color if you have to sit there and apply 10, you know, layers. There's just no point. So, and these are, unfortunately, they're numbers and I think it's 1280, but I'm not sure. So it's a pretty coral. And this is a pretty um, green. Um, it looks to be 1233. And then, never got this color before. It's a beigey gray, kind of, sort of. Um, it looks to be 1254, but I'm not sure. I do not have this color in my collection anywhere. So I thought, you know what? It's kind of a pretty color. Um, I have a gray polish. But this seems to be a little bit darker, so I thought these two would be um, somewhat pretty together. Um, this is a really pretty red, and a really pretty light blue. Now, I know I still have the nail spray video to do. Um, I'm going to try this week. I just These are really hold, holding up very well. So what I may do is just cover these up, maybe with a silver or maybe, um, I don't think I'll go white. I really wanted to go blue, but I may just really fast just cover these up and call it done and do that video for you guys. But um, this seems to be very, very opaque. And that's very hard to find. In my opinion, any light blue, you have to put like, you know, like I said, five layers and I'm just, I don't have time for that shit. So hopefully maybe one, maybe two, and I'm good. Um, and then four cans of large cat food. It's the same wherever you go. 99 cents, one buck. What's the difference? Here's another bag. Um, tissue I needed foil I needed and I'm talking I'm as out of oh shoot I do have something frozen I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time um, they have the lemon I think they have the raspberry and they had something else but this is orange so I'm like you know what this might be a good little snacky for later on or tonight it's a beautiful day out it's like it's gonna hit like 75 78 here today um, where is that? Of course it's up there. Um, I bought a clear vase. Um, I've been wanting to put some roses in, um, a vase and give them to my neighbor, but 
I threw out everything. I gave everything away. So it's kind of stupid. I have to, you know, repurchase stuff, but you know, when you don't have it and you need it. So I thought I would take the vase and put these at the bottom and put my roses, I have beautiful roses outside of my house, um, and give it to my real estate agent. There's more to that coming in, in a minute. Um, I really wanted to find the strawberry non-existent. So I thought, you know what, I'm not going to like, I thought I bought two. Here's the other one, underneath the can of cat food. Nice job, salesperson. Or, you know. So I got the peach because um, the strawberries are the bomb. They are the bomb. If you ever see them, pick them up. Um, finally remembered to get some more oatmeal. Got to make the girls their treats um, pretty soon this week. So rather pay a buck than that ginormous thing I've already used. I think I'm down to a quarter. So thank God I remembered. Um, these are again a repurchase. And I'll say it again, man. It makes a hell of a difference when you use Cascade and you don't use the cheap stuff. You can put cake on dishes and pots and pans and crap and this stuff takes it off it's a beautiful thing so I highly recommend this um i needed what are you doing mama i needed some paper plates um lately i've been giving a lot of treats and food and stuff to neighbors and i just would like to just here take the paper plate throw it out I don't want to deal with anything or on those nights that I don't feel like, you know, making a mess. Um, I know I said this kind of sucked, but I think I redeemed myself in my oatmeal video, my oatmeal granola bar video. Um, I bought the Hawaiian breeze. I put it in the Airwick unit. And the son of a bitch actually works. It doesn't have that strong smell as probably Airwick or Glade, but um, it does work. And it works in my units, so I thought I would get another one for, I guess, probably the guest room or something. I don't know. We'll see. And then I've been wanting to get some mouthwash for the longest time. And I like Reach. I don't even know what flavor this stupid thing is. Oh, it's mint. And why wouldn't you make it blue instead of purple? Whatever. Then I also got, um, this smells really, really good. So lavender and chamomile. Um, I'm not a fan of chamomile, but I will, I'll deal with it. So just got to put that stuff away. So that is, um, what I got at the DT. I also have to buy a stupid effing bag because I can never remember to bring my bags. Um, at least they've, you know, gotten better and they're not cheap crap paper ones. Um, so yeah, right now I gotta put all this shit away and, um, the girls their bones, all the cat food. I gotta restock everything. That'll be, I'll be doing that for the next two hours. Um, they haven't gone on walks. They haven't had a snack this morning, which I normally have. And today's a day. Um, my real estate agent has put the offer in to the house that I want. And God bless her. Um, she put it in such a way that we expect an answer by 8 o'clock. So you want to be a hard ass or you want to play games or you want to counter or all this bullshit. Um... If they counter, I can't do anything about it. I'm already well over what I wanted to spend. Um, but I just, I had to make the decision. There's no inventory. Do you love this house? Do you want this house? Do you want to move on? Do you see yourself in it? Um, is it perfect for the whole crew, the whole circus that we'll be coming with? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a very attractive offer. It is, if I was receiving this offer, 
knowing what I was asking for and knowing what I have basically said, here's your money. There are no contingencies. We close in seven days. You'll have a 3% um, down in three days. You've already moved. Get out. Let me start my life. And um, if I don't get this, I swear to God, you're probably not going to see me for a week. I'm probably going to be under the covers crying my eyes out because... Mentally, I've already moved in, and that's that's a bad thing to do because I've done that five other times. Um, I went to Living Spaces yesterday. Never been. Didn't know what it was like. Didn't didn't know anything about it. Holy shit, Sherlock! Beautiful stuff. Comparable, they say, to Restoration Hardware, IKEA, and Pottery Barn. Um, as you walked into the front of the store, they had three chairs sliced in half. So you could see their filling. You could see, you know, the upholstery. You can see the construction. Um, one was theirs, of course. One was Restoration Hardware. And one was Pottery Barn. They had the most amazing kitchen table and chairs. I think it was $2.25. It was, it was the raised kitchen um, table, just a wooden table and you know, the raised chairs, they had what they call a three in one. And I was like, what on top of um, a coffee table? And I'm like, wow, that's a really pretty coffee table. And it, you know, matches the end table. And I'm like, do you possibly think I was with my neighbor, my friend, um, not my real estate agent, just another neighbor. I go, do you think it's three for one price? So I brought a salesperson over and I'm like, what does this mean? And absolutely, that's what it meant. You buy the coffee table and you get the end tables. Again, for a crazy price of, I might be wrong. I think the three was $225 and I think the kitchen set was $175. Crazy. Absolutely crazy and exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so I've got plans. I've got stuff, you know, and I've said it before. My ideal picture in all this is furnish the house, get everything hooked up, cable, you know, move whom I need to move over and unlock the door and be done with it. And then the fun task comes of the 50,000 boxes that I have boxed up since September. Um, thank God this place does have a small attic, um, or if you want to call it a storage space, if you will, whatever. Um, there is plenty of space on one side of the garage, um, and I'll get into that more later. But um, there's a plan for the garage that does not include a car. Um, but again, everything will be explained in a home tour video. God willing, please, God, please keep praying. Pray so hard today for me, guys. Please, please. Um, it's just about 11 o'clock now. Bids have to be in by noon. Um, I'm assuming these people work, so obviously um, I don't expect any decision before 8 or before 5. Um... And God knows how many people are actually putting offers out. Um, I did find out there was 25 disclosure packages given out, but that doesn't mean there's 25 offers coming in. There very well could be, or there could be five, or there could be one, mine, there could be three. I don't know. I don't know what the number is. Everything is very, very, very hush-hush around here. And... Um, they wouldn't even take offers prior to today. People tried. I didn't try. Um, two other people did, and they were told, no, we're not taking offers until um, May 1st. And if you know anything about me, today is 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one equals 6. 6 is my number. If I can pull all of this off, more than likely, 
I will be moving in June. Hence, six. So even my offer has a six in it. And they're going to be like, what is this person? Because it's not in the main three numbers. It's kind of like towards the end. Um, they're going to be like, what is she thinking? But I felt like I had to do it. So I'm really, really nervous today. I'm really stressed today. I'm trying to keep myself busy and occupied. and But it's very hard. It's super, super hard not to think of your life changing in the blink of an eye. And I guess, you know, after last Monday, you know, officially selling my house, um, escrow closes tomorrow, which is completely crazy because it, everything has just sort of fallen into place with this house and the timing is unbelievable. Um, so I guess, and while I would stay here in a minute, if they, you know, if things were different, if I won the lotto tomorrow, if, if somebody dropped 2 million in my lap, I would back out of this deal in five seconds flat and I would stay here, but that's not going to happen. So once I signed the papers, it was sort of liberating and sort of an end to a chapter and. I accepted it. Um, I just have to look forward to this particular house making it mine and trying to find my way in this world, um, which is going to be very difficult. I mean, when you haven't worked in what will be this September, 16 years, um, you know, and I need to get healthy mentally and physically and be in a place where I can actually hold a job um, and find my path to whatever job that is. Um, I'd love to do something with like senior citizens or animals or children, um, homeless something that I could give back. That is my passion. Um, not just to work a nine to five job and, you know, oh God, I have to get up and go to work type thing. I want to go to work. I want to be somewhere where I'm productive and I'm helping somebody. And like I said, I am giving back. Um, so I don't, I don't know what that job is. I have no idea. And it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be an uphill battle when you go in there and your resume, you know, has no college degree and you've been non-existent for 16 years. And the three previous jobs that you did have are over 20 years ago, basically. Um, and the companies don't no, exist anymore. Um, so... It's, it's going to be interesting, um, you know, and then another thing too, if my offer is accepted, um, I can pretty much say goodbye to a new car, which I really, really wanted. And this is going to sound snobby or bragging or something, but damn it, I deserved it, you know, but do you want to live in a house or do you want to live out of your car? My car, I love. It has sentimental value. I love it to to bits. Um, but it is 10 years old, and I'm sorry, it's 12 years old. It'll be 12 years old this summer. Um, so maybe if I get established in a job and have some income, um, that's probably the only way I'm going to be able to afford a car. Because I was thinking of paying a certain amount for a house, having enough left over, paying cash for a car, not having a payment, you know, no credit check, no history, no, can you afford this? How can you finance it? Um, but that's not going to be the case. You know, I'm counting on at least six, nine, 12 months to get myself settled and healthy and 
prepare myself to go back into some type of job. So, sorry this turned into a chit chat, but it's always going to turn into a chit chat chat because I always have something to say and always have some news to share. So, um, hopefully I will be back on here tomorrow, if not sooner. Hi, brother. Um, with some good news. I pray to God because I really feel like I'm going to take it really, really, really hard as I did um, two houses ago. I was, again, I was already mentally moved in, and but this is the first and only house that 1,000% fits my needs and fits the girl's needs. There's no stairs. There's no stairs to get into the house. There's no stairs to get out in the backyard. There's no stairs. There's one little step to get into the garage. Um, it's half carpeted and half hardwood floor because um, the girls are used to, you know, carpet. And I kind of, I like carpet. So it's the best of both worlds. Um, there's a lot of storage space. The backyard's beautiful, manageable, um, safe. I mean, it's everything. It's everything to me. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. And like I said, hopefully by this time you see me next time, I will be a crying, blithering, happy idiot. <laughs> um... So please, if you just have a moment today to send out some positive vibes, thoughts, prayers, um, I need them. I need them. So take care, everybody, and um, I will see you soon. Bye.